So today is our last day in the city of Luang Prabang, Laos. And let me start by saying this week didn't go exactly as we planned. Um, I got a little food poisoning. In fact, it was the worst food poisoning I've ever seen or had. And it all stemmed from the fact that it's been so many days that we've had Southeast Asian cuisine that we were just craving something else that reminded us of home a little bit and so we finally um, bit the bullet and we went to a restaurant that served french bread pizza sounds harmless and it is day three now and i am now just able to walk so it didn't go exactly as planned we didn't see as much of the city as we had hoped but we did have some really good experiences well on top of that we travel extremely fast i would say like we can cover a huge city within two to three days and so this is definitely a smaller town um, so we could have had it covered easily in two to three days and been satisfied to go on to our next destination but that being said we're very lucky to have had six days here because of Braden's situation <laughs> there's just a lot of things that you have to get used to and one of the major things is that grocery stores there aren't full grocery stores here that became a challenge when I was really ill because there was nowhere to go get medicine. Or even just some basic foods that he should have been eating. It was very difficult to access, you know, something like a, a cracker, just a salted cracker. I eventually uh, walked all over town and found something, but it was definitely not as easy or convenient as say like even it would be in Thailand which is right next door so it's it's definitely a learning experience for us yep but it's all good we've had a good time and our next stop is still in Laos today actually in a couple hours we are booking a minivan to the city of Vang Vieng the minivan is about I think it was a hundred thousand kip per person, which is about like eleven dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, so really cheap. It's it's a over five hour ride. The large bus can take up to eight hours and is more expensive. Why would you pay more money to be on a bus longer? <laughs> Although I have read that the big bus is less prone to car sickness, so I'm a little nervous, but we've I'm, got some extra barf bags. Yeah, I'm <laughs> taking my barf bags. We have another private room. <laughs> so we're really stoked on that, but I can't wait to see what uh, the rest of the country has to offer. Goodbye room. A lot of interesting memories in here. They gave us a range of like 20 minutes, so We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Again, loud time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Us? Yeah? Right on time, 3 o'clock. All right. Thanks. Okay, this is going to be snug. Two minutes into the trip and we need a new tire. Bathroom break. I'm, I'm kind of sick. I'm a little shaken and I'm in the very back of the bus where one person should be sitting but there's two of us and it's totally fine other than the fact that 
they turned off the air conditioning going up the hill. Because he needs the AC off going up the hill, which this whole trip is a hill, so. I, yeah, but honestly, this break couldn't have come at a better time. Yeah, I was close to vomiting. Yeah. Okay, four more hours left. <laughs> so far, our new wheel hasn't fallen off. It's so funny because at home, obviously I compare everything to being at home, but they would change a tire and then you adjust all of them to make sure they're like calibrated the same, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. But here they just throw on a tire and you get on the road. <laughs> break around too. Watching but, the sunset. Yeah, it's a pretty sunset. <laughs> and this is a nice little break so we don't barf. Didn't we get a private room? Oh yeah. So we booked a private room, but they just took us to a dorm room. So we're trying to figure that out because we definitely paid for a private room. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Supposed to have a shared bathroom, and we don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, crisis averted. Okay, so I'm soaking in this room as I give the tour. Oh, yep. We're like we're seeing pieces of wallpaper. It looks like an unwrapped present. And a sconce really high on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a fire hazard. Air conditioning, wonderful. Might be broken. A fan. Bed, better than our last room. Yep. I'll take that. Look at Brady, we have a closet. And a shower in the bathroom. The shower does not flow on top of the toilet this time, just onto the bathroom floor. And a sink that has plumbing inside. Oh. No, I think I Oh, Hold okay. On. Just kidding. Just kidding. It still <laughs> runs onto the floor. No, we tried. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Okay, I have to pee. Okay, bye. <laughs> we made it to Vong Bien after four hours and 45 minutes of being in a minivan. A sardined minivan. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm probably not the best person to judge because I have been sick for so many days already, but I really think that after all the articles that we read about that trip, I think it is worse 
then... Okay, I'll give an unbiased opinion because I wasn't sick. <laughs> I'm definitely glad that we had read some articles and like had an idea of what to expect. It is beyond bumpy. You like, are airborne, all four wheels, which we just got a new wheel before we even started. <laughs> all four wheels come off the ground multiple times. One thing that was interesting was the entire van was full, except for the front seat, which I'm convinced that they don't fill up the front seat because people would be terrified if you saw what we were about to experience. So he just wants to keep it a surprise. The very back is where all of the bags go, and there are two seats back there that should be one. So myself and this wonderful lady from London were squished like this <laughs> the entire time. We got very friendly with each other, but I will say a quote from her that I think is perfect. After one of the largest bumps, she said, wow, <laughs> I'm really bad at accents. We, we were quite literally lodged into the air. <laughs> I was just sort of uh -huh. I was like, quite literally. It was definitely like a, an $11 roller coaster. We didn't have any pukers. We were warned it was bumpy. Yeah, I think the most nauseating part was the fact that we were the only people on the bus that didn't smoke. So <laughs> the smoker breath, along with all of the BO, which I'm sure we contributed to, that was worse probably than the bumps. <laughs> but now we are in the city of which we have learned to pronounce is Bang Bieng, not as a Californian would say it, Bang, Bang Bieng. Bieng. <laughs> and it's going to be a good time. We just walked down the street. There's a ton of parties going on. We Some of the friends that we made on the slow boat are in our hostel. Yep. So we've seen some familiar faces already. It's good. Everyone takes the same route here in Laos. <laughs> but there's a reason for it. It's a good one. All right. Good night. <laughs>